Central Coast, but the same fantastic sunset, Stan. We had a nice one tonight. A few high clouds out there. I'm setting the picture here. Warmer than normal temperatures. It felt like uh, a nice night to go out and have a cold snack on the porch. Ooh, get ready for snack. that sunset. And boy, did it put on a show. You had to wait a little while for it. I mean, it was a good sun show all around. The sun set at around 6 p.m. And this was at like 6.15. The colors kind of faded and then flashed back for a minute or two. This was what it looked like here from our studio. Nice day today. Take a look at some of these highs. Coralitos, the hot spot, was a tie with Bradley today. Coralitos in Santa Cruz County, Bradley in Monterey County. Salinas, mid-70s, about 10 degrees above normal. Watsonville, mid-70s as well. We were in the low 70s in Santa Cruz. Monterey, 70, about 5 degrees above normal, or 6 or 7 degrees above normal. Mosslet. Excuse me, moss landing, not frog landing. Frogs in my throat, moss is on the landing, on the bay. 61 degrees today. Temperatures in the 50s tonight, very mild tonight. If you walked outside, you're probably not seeing your breath like you were last week, all week long. It was cold at night. It's not too bad out there tonight. We do have some high clouds acting as a bit of a blanket. You can see them moving through. The low clouds on this map typically show up in a yellowish orange color. And there may be a few offshore. We might see them peeking through the clouds every once in a while. But at the moment, not a threat to us. Just a few high clouds passing through. And those high clouds are in advance of a weather system which is reorganizing itself down here. Last night we showed you the spin. It was up here. And I said it would be about the same spot. Well, it's changed its mind. It's gone a little bit farther to the south. But in the meantime, we still see some rain the Pacific Northwest. This thing is going to reorganize and then come right at the West Coast. It actually looks like the low will track to our south now as we head into the latter portion of the day on Thursday. So let's take you there on Futurecast. A few high clouds hanging out with us for the overnight. They never really show up all that impressively on Futurecast, but they'll be with us. So expect a partly cloudy start to the day tomorrow. Probably see a nice sunrise as well. Keep your cameras. I mean, does anyone have cameras anymore? People just have phones. Just like that. Keep those handy. Should be a nice sunrise tomorrow morning. Through the rest of the day, partly cloudy skies, a few high clouds passing through, may see a few low clouds offshore, making that approach late, and they, there they go. So maybe a little bit of fog on that evening commute along Highway 1 tomorrow night. Just keep that in mind on your way back home. Make sure you get there safely. Now, as far as precipitation, that's going to hold off until Thursday. We'll zoom out for you, show you this cold frontal system approaching. So this is 5 a.m. Thursday. We're still high and dry here around the Central Coast. And then as this front kind of peters out, we actually see reorganization of low pressure off to the south there. So what I'm expecting is a little bit more of a focus, I think, down into Monterey County. We're going to see that Thursday evening as that low strengthens and moves ashore. So normally we talk about how we're a little bit more likely to see rain up to the north and to the west. In this case, I think, at least is what we're looking at right now, it might be a little more focused across Monterey County. And this low is going to sit here into Friday morning and produce a few more showers for us before fading out. But there will be another wave of this system coming through behind it, which will produce some additional showers, I think, as we head into the weekend. In the meantime, tomorrow, temperatures, kind of a transition day, still warm in Santa Cruz at 70, up in the mountains. Low to mid-70s tomorrow, 75 in Ben Lomond, not too bad. 67 in Capitola. East Shore of the Bay, a little bit more 60-ish than we were today. Low 70s, Watsonville, Salinas, mid-70s, and the Gilroy and Hollister. Monterey Peninsula, dropping about 5 or 6 degrees for most locations. Monterey at 64, and again, you could have a little fog tomorrow night. 62 in PG, and then farther south, lots of 70s in the Salinas Valley. We're going to throw Bradley back to the 80s tomorrow. You're going to be our hot spot as the uh, cooler air hasn't quite reached you just yet. Over the next seven days, okay, so here's how this plays out. Clouds increasing on Thursday, a chance of rain, especially later in the day. For what I'm expecting right now, it's gonna be light to moderate rain, not heavy rain, and it will be off and on and may even skip a few spots because of that low coming farther to the south. Beyond that, showers Friday, then northwest winds pick up. It'll be windy and colder Friday, and then another weaker cold front, but packed with colder air Saturday will bring additional showers, and those showers could linger into Sunday. And look at those temperatures, much colder than we were today. We'll warm up out of the weekend, though, with temps back in the 60s. Inland areas also picking up on that rain late Thursday. Blustery conditions Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with some showers. We'll narrow down the smaller scale disturbances and talk about when on those days you may see that precipitation. That first system's got to get here on Thursday first, then everything behind it will fall in line a little bit easier. But again, cooler, blustery, rainier weather as we head into March. Will it be a miracle March, Phil? We're going to find out. I'm with you, Dan. I'll wait and find out with you.